Hey friends, all right, we're going to talk about this full moon that we have uh, here in July. Of course, many of you probably know we've got uh, our eclipse. This is sort of the time of year when we've got our couple of eclipses. And we've also got Mercury retrograde. We have all of our outer planets. I mean, everything from Jupiter, even Jupiter on out. This includes as well, by the way, this is also uh, Ceres and Chiron, also a retrograde. But Jupiter on out to Pluto all retrograde except Uranus. Uranus is direct. So we have the planets that have to do with big cycles of time, you know, big cycles in your life. And especially when the nodes of the moon are in Cancer and Capricorn, then we're talking about the beginning of your life, which is Cancer. And that's the direction we're actually, we're headed in. So we're, we're, we're moving towards um, an area that has to do with feeling safe and secure, emotional security, figuring that out for yourself, moving away from Capricorn. And um, in particular, we've got our Capricorn South Node. It's conjunct Saturn and Pluto. And that's also where the full moon is at. So our 24 degree Capricorn full moon is one that, that you know, by the time it's a 24 degrees, it will have run over, but it's already hit um, you know, Saturn. South Node, Pluto, and I'm looking at it right now, actually, um, those are the big ones, right? Saturn has to do with, and especially as the ruler of the South Node in the sign of Capricorn, it has to do with the patriarchy, with men, with fathers, with authority figures, okay? And when we talk about the moon, which is the opposite, it's from the opposite archetype, the moon is Cancer, it's the most familiar, it's the mother, it's comfort, it's like, you know, cozy. Whereas, in fact, go out tonight and go out and look at the moon tonight when she's up and you will notice on one side of her, in fact, you're going to see, it'll be on her right side, you'll see Saturn, okay? And then you'll also see a little further to the right, you're going to see Jupiter, which will be bright. And Jupiter's the one right now that when you go outside kind of right, you know, as the sun sets, Jupiter is going to be sort of up. You'll see it just starting to make his way across the sun's ecliptic across the sky at night. And you'll see the moon, of course, rise as the sun sets. So um, there's there's a quality here of this moon having, you know, first it hit Jupiter and Sagittarius, which is retrograde. But but at that time, this is a few days ago, um, there, there tends to be a sort of buoyancy and, and a, a sense of things being um, on the right path, I suppose. When the moon hit... It can also actually be, it's funny because we have a lot of things in our chart right now that are heavy, but at the same time with this Jupiter that we have, there's um, like, it's going to be okay, so don't stress out too much. The things that are being ended right now, the relationships that are being re-examined and reevaluated, um, and sort of we're making those decisions to, to stay with certain people or to not, um, those are big themes right now, okay? So I'm going to pause right here. This is sort of just an introduction. And then I want to go through for you guys kind of each of the big major, uh, I suppose, aspects and the things that we're going to be really seeing. And I'm also going to take a look at the deep chart for you, which, interestingly enough, so looking at the tropical, we have a 24 degree Capricorn um, moon, right? So something important to make note of, anyone who is in particular Cancer, if you have a sun or a moon in Cancer, at the later degrees of Cancer, there can be sort of a tendency to feel emotionally um, forgotten or we can feel kind of isolated or alone or um, our feelings, it's, it's because the moon that's transiting is as far away from our natal moon as possible. So there just can be this kind of sense of feeling emotionally, um, you know, a little sad. Plus, you guys have had Saturn opposite, you know, Saturn and Pluto, um, opposing. If you've got a Cancer moon, you've had that opposing. So that's that's a time of big, like, life-changing experiences. Many times, which you probably have already experienced, um, that have brought to the surface secrets that maybe have had to do with your family of origin or um, family patterns, you know, generational patterns, and things that have. Um, had shame maybe attached to them, um, and in particular as it applies to the father or the men in the family, the or the person who's kind of the authority figure. Those have been kind of the big, our big themes. 
Okay, I'm going to pause right here and then I want to talk with you guys a little bit more about the theme for this particular full moon and how it's going to affect you. 